Why is it so hard to find a good wig nowadays? There's so much to choose from. We want one with a natural hairline. It really helps if it's glueless. And having deep part and space is always a plus. In today's video, we have the traditional wig up against the fake scalp technology that claims to reign supreme as it's supposed to mimic your natural part and space. And it's great for those who don't know how to do a ball cap. So today, they've come to battle it out to see which one is best. Order in the court. You may now be seated. I always wanted to say that. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Faithfully Asia. And today, I hope to put an end to the great debate over the fake scalp and the non-fake scalp wig. Which one is better? Now, if you guys are regular on my channel, you already know how I feel about the fake scalp. You know, I'm really not a fan of the technology, but seeing as that almost every hair company has started creating these fake scalp wigs, I think it's safe to say that maybe I'm in the minority as people who actually like it, or maybe they're just trying it out. Whatever the case, I'm going to put them head to head to see which one is better. I'm gonna be the judge, you guys are the jury. At the end of this video, please cast your vote down below and let me know which one you prefer. If you're not subscribed to my channel, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. We're family around here. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, this video is sponsored by My First Wigs. All my regular subscribers already know they're one of my favorite vendors. It's only right that I chose to review their wigs. Um, also, I think they're like a safe um, median, seeing as that I didn't want to bring any hate from any Precious Marie supporters. As you guys know, she's collaborating with RPG Show. My First Wigs is their sister company, so we're all good around here. So first up, let's actually take a look at the two wigs that we're going to be comparing today. This is the beautiful case that their wigs come in. This is their 20 inch, six inch deep part straight wig. This is the wig that does not have the fake scalp. They have the regular combs in the back, two on the side, and the adjustable strap. The defendant is the identical wig, but this one has the fake scalp technology. One thing I will say is that out of all the fake scalps I received, I do like how this one is made because this material seems to be a lot more durable than some of the other ones that I've received. In any event, let me try these on just to give you a closer look of what these look like. Okay, so before I try this on, I wanna let you guys see what this hairline looks like. As you can see, it does come pre-plucked. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this into a side part, just simply because you guys know that's what I prefer. And I'm going to lightly pluck the front of this unit. Now, I'm not gonna pluck it too much because I don't wanna give it an unfair advantage, but that is one advantage to having the traditional lace as opposed to the fake scalp. Now to melt the hair on this lace, I like to put it under a towel and use hair wax. I'm using the My First Wig hair wax. You can also get one from by Carry Care from Amazon. And I like to apply this to the hairline and that literally helps the hair melt into the lace. So this is what the fake scalp looks like straight out the box. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps with this wig that I did with the other one just to melt the hair into the unit. I don't recommend plucking the fake scalp wig because it's going to make the fake scalp more visible underneath. And now they're ready for me to try it on. Now I will say that in my opinion, if you do a ball cap, you're gonna get the best results. But the point of the fake scalp technology is for those who don't know how to do it and it's also to save you time because it is time consuming to actually do the ball cap. If you want information on how to do that tutorial, don't worry, I have one. I'll link that in the eye up above. So I'm gonna take
like which one do you guys like best be sure and cast your vote down below and as you can see this wig is glueless too okay dolls so this is pretty much the final look of both units i showed you the comparison between the two which one are you partial to i have my favorite but i won't say because i'm gonna need to see the tape because some stuff do show up on video that you don't see in real life but in real life they both actually look pretty natural and i really don't have any complaints in any event they're both able to be worn glueless as you saw i didn't use any glue any adhesive or anything and they still give a really natural look and they're really beginner friendly so if you're interested in purchasing this unit, I do have a coupon code for you guys. I'll put that across the screen as well as in the description box down below. And I'll also have the purchase links to everything featured in this video as well. Before we get out of here, I'm going to need your help naming this beauty. Go ahead and give me your name suggestions in the comment section down below. What do you think we should call her or them? <laughs> I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name as well as the person who submitted that comment will be listed right here. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And until next time, court is adjourned.